Hi everyone, my name is Shannon. Welcome to King Family Farm. Um, yesterday I processed chickens and I considered showing how to process the chickens, um, but I just, I really wanted to get it done. So um, I didn't film it. What I will do is I will link my favorite processing video down below. Um, today I'm putting the birds in shrink bags. So after processing, I put them in a chill tank. They go in my walk-in cooler. Um, I left them overnight. You can you can do you can leave them for just a couple hours and package them up. But I had some other stuff I need to do, so they sat in the chill tank overnight, which is just fine. And then what we did um, is today I put them in this tote here uh, with the cavity down, and I'm letting them drain out about 10 minutes because nobody wants to pay for water, um, and you don't want all that extra water in the uh, chicken itself. So we're going to use some shrink bags. This particular chicken um, was our first go with the scalder and plucker and we kind of kind of failed. We over scalded it. Um, it's, I've always plucked my birds by hand. So, but we're just going to stick these in the shrink bags which I picked up from Berry Hill. Um, I'll link the ones we purchased down below. It took me a bit to get them to shrink this morning. And what I found out is that um, the temperature required to get them to shrink is a little more than they actually say. These are heavier bags, they're the 95 micron. Um, I've worked with different shrink plastics before for packaging soaps. Um, so most of our birds, they, they turned out really well. I'm really happy with them. It's just that one that we had a, we had an oops moment. So, which happens, but otherwise I am just super satisfied with these birds and we're going to put them, sometimes I try and tuck the neck. I leave the necks on because some people really like to eat the neck. Um, it adds, really good flavor to gravies and stocks but I like to kind of try and tuck it in just like that and then you need to put them neck first into the shrink bags and I'll show you why in a minute so this year was the first year I used a feather picker as well I've always done them by hand and it's just such a daunting task. So it was really nice this year to be able to um, simply process them. It took me about eight minutes per bird. So if you're looking at doing a bunch of birds, um, I would say a feather picker is an excellent choice. And I'll link the one I purchased down below. I use a yard bird. And uh, I think for a homesteader, the yard bird is fantastic. It does the job. So the thing with chickens is I don't like to freeze them right away because like all animals, after you process them, they go through rigor mortis and everything gets really stiff. So you want to wait for the rigor to come out. See how wiggly the legs are now? That's what you want before you go freezing them because otherwise I find they cook up a bit tough. Now, I know some people will swear that it's perfectly okay um, to freeze them right away. It's just not my preference. As a matter of fact, they'll stay in my walk-in cooler because I have the space for that. They'll stay in my walk-in for probably three more days before I freeze them. And I find they're just that much more tender. Chickens turned out nice, so I'm super excited. Um, and so is my family. There we go. So, essentially, you straw, and I've got pliers because my hands can't pull these zip ties. And take a zip tie. And this is why you have to have it with the cavity up. Put the straw in the cavity, like 
like that, tuck it in, and then you put the zip tie around. And I usually, I can get it started, and then I just use the pliers to snug it up on the straw. And then we're going to go in my tank here, which is, uh, you can use your skull tank, same pot, just clean it out. It's clean water, nothing in it. Um, and I run it at about just shy of 200 degrees. And it goes in, and you can actually hear the air exit the cavity. In just a couple seconds, and that's it. So, and then we pull the straw out and pull the zip tie tight, and that's it. And this goes into my cooler. So, I'll do another one here. I've been weighing them and writing how much they are on each one. Mostly for my records. So we found the best gold temperature was about 144. That's Fahrenheit, by the way. Um, that just worked the best for our setup. shrink bags just keep the chickens a little better longer in the freezer especially if you're only doing one batch a season and these are going to last you until next year you want to have them packed really really well in the freezer so you're not dealing with freezer burn to burn of any kind So I'm just using like a turkey fryer burner with an old um, canning pot that's actually kind of bowed out on the bottom so I don't use it for water bath canning anymore um, but it's perfectly fine for doing this. So I just did um, 28 birds yesterday. Um, it took me about, with the feather picker, it took me about eight minutes a bird, which for me is fabulous. Because usually it just takes so much longer if you've got to pluck them by hand. So if you're debating about getting a feather picker, I highly recommend it. It's just so much faster.
that's it. So I'm just going to weigh them, mark them, and into my walk-in cooler. And they'll sit in there for a couple of days and then into my freezer. It's afternoon. The wind has picked up. And I'm going to cut some sunflowers here. And I thought I would show you the ideal stage to cut sunflowers if you want to use them for cut flowers um, for your table, for cut flower production, um, if you're growing your own flowers for a wedding, whatever. It's just the best stage to, to cut them. So this stand of sunflowers is just getting going. Um, I've got a few couple in here that are past where I would normally harvest them, but they're still good. Most of them are still pretty tight. So these are pro cut orange sunflowers. They are my preference for a sunflower. Um, they are pollenless. They are a hybrid. Um, they are not nectarless, so they still provide food for the bees if that's something that you are trying to do. Um, but what they won't do is dump pollen out on your white linens, on your table, or on your wedding dress. So that's what's really ideal. I've got, there we go. This one here is actually well past where I would cut this for a florist, but we're still gonna cut it. It's just lost like a day of day's life. So we've got this here, and then what I'm going to do is strip all these leaves off, just like that. And I'm going to go put this in my bucket. Normally I take these off as well, they just don't need to be there, and all they're doing is taking away from the stem being able to feed this flower. So now this one here is ideal cut flower stage and the screen is like black to me so I don't know if you can see it there so the petals have appeared they're just starting to lift this is ideal for cut flowers and this is where I generally cut most of my sunflowers for cut flower production and I've got this one here that's kind of at the same stage and I'm gonna cut that as well so I hope that helps you if you're cutting sunflowers um, and any variety really, if you're cutting them at all to take them into the house, they will last you a lot longer if you cut them at this stage. And yes, they will open for you, I promise. So these, I know they're pretty tight. They, they don't look like they're gonna open, but this is the optimal stage to be cutting sunflowers to sell to a florist. And that's where these are going. So, um, like I said, these are pro-cut uh, orange. Um, the pro-cut variety comes in a couple other colors. These are gonna go in my cooler. They'll take a couple days to open, um, but this allows the florist to take a couple out as they need them and put them in some warm water and bloom them out. And it just gives them longer time with them in their cooler. So that's why we harvest them like that. Whereas this one, although beautiful, you can see right along the edges here that the disc is starting to open up. And so this has lost a few days on its phase life, unfortunately. It's still beautiful though. I love sunflowers, clearly. So that's going to be it for us today. I just got to get these flowers cut. Um, and I wanted to show you how I was packaging the chicken that I processed. We're just super busy here. So thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you here next time on the farm.